that Dave Chappelle is financially free. It's all about the money. They don't know what to do with Dave Chappelle because they're like, damn, normally if we offer a Negro more money, he, he becomes a good slave. You know, that works. That worked with Nick Cannon. That's worked with Snoop Dogg. That's worked with every celebrity. When we threaten to cancel them and cancel that dollar bill, cancel that money, then they get right in line. This guy isn't getting in line. He's not playing the squid game. Well, another guy that isn't that doesn't get in line, that doesn't play the squid game, is this guy in this picture, Kanye West. Let me tell you a little secret. I haven't talked about this publicly, but I'm going to share the secret. I told you guys I had one conversation with Kanye West. He called me because he wanted to talk to me about Dr. Claude Anderson. Uh, and y'all know I love Dr. Anderson to the fullest. I'm, that's like my daddy. And uh, Kanye and I talked for about 10 or 15 minutes. In the conversation, he mentioned Dave Chappelle, and he mentioned Dave Chappelle as an advisor. Let me tell you something special about Kanye West and Dave Chappelle. Two things I want you to observe about these two guys and how they were able to resist cancel culture and able to overcome all of the uh, suppression and oppression that other people try to push on black people when we get out of line, especially black men. Two things. One, they, they, they are financially free, so they're not playing the squid game. Chappelle's got all the money he needs. He knows how to say, I've got enough. I don't need more money. You can't dangle another hundred million over my head and get me to play your stupid pet tricks because I'm not your pet, right? Kanye, he's now a billionaire. Uh, when I talked to Kanye, I thought he was worth about 1.1 billion. He actually said in that phone call, he said, I'm really worth about $4 billion. I, I was thinking that's bullshit. You ain't worth no $4 billion, but I didn't care. It's whatever, right? You're rich. Good for you, right? But <clears throat> but I'll be damned if Forbes didn't come out later and revise his net worth to say that he's worth three or $4 billion. That's, so the first thing that I want you to notice about these guys, <clears throat> remember, God in the universe gives you your classroom every day. Your lessons that you learn are not in the, in the university campus. They are in the world, right? This is a finance class for your ass right now. I'm giving it to you right now. So number one, both of these guys, because they're financially free and they know how to say, I have enough money, they are not playing the squid game. You can't, you can't use money as a carrot or a stick to beat them into submission. These guys are technically free. Whether you like them or not, they are free, right? That's what freedom looks like. In, in the celebrity space. Number two, does anybody know anything about Kanye and Dave Chappelle's parents? Kanye and Dave Chappelle, the apple does not fall from the tree. The uh, apple does not fall far from the tree. That's my hint for you. Tell me what you know about Kanye. What, what is the, here's, here's another hint. What is the profession of Kanye's parents? And what was the profession of Dave Chappelle's parents? Somebody put it in the chat for me. What did Donda do? Rest her soul. Let's call Donda into the room. Type Donda in the chat. What did Donda do for a living before she passed? What did Donda's husband, who Kanye's daddy, what did he do for a living? Right? I don't know much about him. He, they were both professors, if I'm not mistaken. They were both professors. What did Dave Chappelle's parents do for a living? Somebody answer in the chat. I've, I've given you the answer already, so it should be easy. They, too, were both professors. 